Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. So for dinner tonight, I'm actually going to have a jacket potato because honestly, I absolutely love them. And in one of my shorts, um, I uploaded a few weeks ago, I showed myself dishing up a jacket potato with some mince over the top. And so many people have actually asked me how I make that mince. So I thought I'd film it for you today because that's what I'm gonna top my potato with tonight. And honestly, that is my favorite topping for a jacket potato. So I usually do something like the potato with the mince over the top. Then I add some cheese, quite a lot of cheese. If you know by now, I absolutely love it. Um, and then sometimes I add coleslaw or sour cream. Tonight, I think I'm gonna do coleslaw because I do have some in the fridge and I wanna use it up for tonight's dinner. And yeah, I am super excited for dinner tonight. So let's get straight into it and I'll show you exactly how I make it. So let's begin by prepping our veggies. So I didn't have any larger onions, so I'm just using four small ones. I'm just going to peel them and then I'm just going to cut them up um, just into little chunks and the reason for that is because in this video I'm going to be using my new handy dandy little chopper. Let me tell you this chopper is absolutely amazing for just finely chopping up any of your veggies and things like that. So you just pop in the blade and then you pop in the food put the lid on and then the lid does have a little string handle thing attached to it as you'll see all i'm going to do is pull it a few times and every time you pull the blades will spin and it chops up the veggies so well and it saves me so much time and i absolutely love it so as you can see the onions have chopped up really fine i would never be able to get them this fine if i was doing it with a knife and then in the same chopper i'm going to add in some mushrooms that i have washed and again, I'm going to do the same thing. If you are interested, I actually picked this up from TikTok shop, but I'm sure a few other places do sell it as well. But I just love how quick and easy it is. It even chops things like carrots, um, which I find amazing. So yeah, it's a really good buy and I have been using it literally every single day. Just look at that. So now over to the hob area, I've got a pan with my minced meat in there. I'm going to add in the onions, pop the lid on and just let this cook on a low heat for around five minutes or so. And then here we go, I'm going to show you another one of my new buys. I got this from TikTok shop as well. And it is amazing for using on mince because if you just use a spoon, sometimes the mince can be quite lumpy, whereas this just mashes everything and it just makes everything really nice and fine. Um, so yeah, it saves a lot of time. So I'm just going to cook this over a medium heat now. I haven't added any oil into this pan because it doesn't require it. These pans are amazing. Um, they are by Tower. Um, at this point, I'm just going to add in the mushrooms and again, just fry them off for a few minutes. But yeah, these pans are absolutely amazing. They don't require any oil, so I don't use it if I don't need to because the food cooks perfectly without it. So um, now that I have fried off the mushrooms and the onions with the mince for around five minutes and it has browned a little bit, I'm going to just season a little bit. So I'm starting off with some salt. Then I'm going in with some chili flakes and you will see this recipe doesn't require measurements. I'm literally just chucking things in. I've got some paprika and then this seasoning mix is an absolute game changer. It tastes amazing. So you can pick it up in a local Asian supermarket usually. So I hope you can find it. It tastes honestly so delicious. So I add that in and then again, I'm just gonna let everything fry for a little while and I'm just gonna let those spices cook as well. And then I'm gonna pop the lid on and let this cook again for about 10 or 15 minutes. So now that the mince is looking like this, it's now time to add in some frozen peas. Again, I am just eyeballing the measurements here. Just add in as much or as little as you want. Then I'm just going to squeeze in some tomato puree and I'm gonna give that a really good mix as well. I'm gonna let this cook for a further minute or so. And as you can see, it is really coming together. 
the color looks really good and the mince is pretty much done so now um, i'm just going to add a handful of fresh coriander i absolutely love coriander so it goes in every dish that i can get it in i'm going to pop the lid on and let this simmer for around 10 minutes and once the 10 minutes are up you should have something that looks like this the mince is completely cooked now and you can taste it at this point just to see if it's to your liking i did taste mine and it was delicious so it's time to plate up so let's go ahead and load up that jacket potato so i'm going to serve mine in this huge bowl it just is the perfect bowl for a loaded jacket potato i've got my potato here i'm going to add a little bit of butter to start with followed by some grated cheddar cheese and then we are going to load it up with lots of that mince believe me if you haven't tried this you have to it's absolutely amazing it just it just takes the jacket potato to another level we're going to top it with some more cheese and then right on the top we're going to add some coleslaw like i mentioned at the start sometimes i add coleslaw sometimes i add sour cream either is absolutely fine if you want to do both you can do both but this is so good it's by far my favorite topping for a jacket potato so make sure you try it out and let me know if you liked it um, and there you go guys that is how easy it is to make this mince like i said you can use it on so many things so make sure you try it out and i'll see you soon